guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the small booktuber tag. I was tagged by JT over at JT Feliciano. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, she tagged me back in December, January, I think. And I'm just now getting around to it. So, it's a few questions. It's kind of like, um... The booktuber newbie, booktube newbie tag, something like that. I've done that. I'll link it down below if you have not seen it. So I'm going to watch her video to get the questions. She didn't put the questions down in her description. I will put the questions down in my description in case anybody wants to do this tag or if I tag anybody, which I don't know if I am. So let's get started. Also leave JT's um, video down below. But the first question is, introduce yourself, which is not really a question, but I am Kelly. If you're new here, welcome. I make booktube videos along with Dollar Tree hauls and the occasional vlog of my family. I am 28 years old and I have three children, all girls. I'm happily married to my high school sweetheart and that's pretty much it. I have them a lot in my videos, so if you're new here, go check out my old videos, and if you're just only watching this video, and you're supporting my channel, and have been for a while, thank you. You know my sweethearts, how they're terrors. Question number two is, how long have you been on BookTube? I have been on YouTube since September of 2017. And I was doing the occasional book video along with all of my mix of videos that I do. But I didn't officially declare my channel a booktube channel until the previous summer when I did the booktube newbie tag. Uh, that's pretty much it. Number three, what type of videos do I make? I've already answered this. Book videos, vlogs featuring my family, and reading vlogs, uh, Dollar Tree hauls, Dollar Tree shop with me's. And that's it. I like documenting what my family does and what I get because I want to remember and I want my kids to remember. And it's just fun to look back on. And the projects that my husband does for me. My husband built this bookshelf for me and we documented it. And it's one of the very first videos on my channel. So I will link that down below if you want to learn how to make a bookshelf. Question number four is, what do you love about BookTube? I love the unboxings and the hauls and the unhauls. I love hearing about people's opinions on certain books, why they love this book, why they hate that book, what they thought about books. It helps me in my buying process. If I hear very good reviews from multiple big BookTubers, then I will go and... Well, not necessarily big, big booktubers like Polo Bananas and Jesse the Reader and Kat and Emma and them. I listen to their reviews, but I mainly go for the, not small booktubers, but the big, but small, medium-sized booktubers who don't get many, who don't do many ads. And don't get many PR packages because every time I watch a PR ad unboxing, then it's like, oh, this is great and all this. And then it turns out it really sucks. So that's what I love about BookTube. The big BookTubers, I hmm, may be controversial, but I respect their opinions. And some of them actually give their honest and truthful opinions but then some of them are paid to just talk up a book and it's actually crap question number five what type of books do you read i read mostly ya adult um i find some of the ya nowadays a bit too childish and tropey and i read adult books because i'm an adult i'm almost 30 but I do enjoy the occasional middle grade as well. I, like I said, I have three kids. 
I homeschool them. We get the Alcrate Junior box every month and we are reading the books and some of them I enjoy, some of them I think are juvenile as it's geared towards. But yeah, I read a mix of YA, adult, and middle grade. I lean mostly towards historical fiction. I am big in World War II historical fiction and the occasional fantasy. And I love nonfiction. Nonfiction has to be one of my favorite genres to read. It's just something I'm just learning about what I haven't learned in school. And I love learning about different places. Uh, one of my favorite nonfiction books of this year is Walk in the Americas by Levison Wood. And he walks from Mexico all the way to Colombia. And just reading about the Congolese um, refugee camp in Honduras or Guatemala. I did not know that. It's sort of like the migrant caravan from Honduras to the U.S. And, but they were stuck in Honduras. They couldn't get through the border or they would get deported back to Africa. I love learning about that. Question number six is, what is your favorite video that you've made? Mm, the unboxings are my favorite because I get to see my kids' reactions when I'm filming, when I'm editing, and I catch things that they say while I'm in editing and that I did not hear them say in while we were filming. Uh, example is my previous Alcrate Junior unboxing. Addie got a Harry Potter uh, bath bomb and it was the Rememberal and I asked her what movie was it from and I told her Harry Potter because she was taking too long to answer. Or And while I'm just talking about it to the camera she goes to flying lesson and I did not hear that while we were filming but I I noticed it in editing and I was just speechless. So the unboxings are my favorite video to do because of that little thing. I get to see my re my kids reactions if I'm talking to the camera or if I'm looking in the box and I just see their faces. And the last thing to do is to tag four small booktube channels or four small YouTube channels in general. So I'm going to go to my channel and go to my subscription list because I honestly have no clue. Yes, Charlie, back to my Ooh, there's me. Hello. Um, The Bookish Corner. Linda's World of Books. Laura Likes Mascara. And Sam Reads. Let's see if I have one more. Make it five. Uh, that's it. I can't find any more. If I think of anybody else, I will link them down below. But that is it for this tag. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in my next video.